Sports was my life growing up. We had a, a project in church and they asked us, what would you want to be when you grow up? And I wrote down on my paper, I want to be a professional uh, basketball player and I want to be a Seattle police officer. As cliche as it might sound, I'm living my dream. This is my community. This is where I grew up. This is where I like to give back. I've been knowing Roselle Ellis, I mean, forever, since the fourth, fifth grade. Roselle lived in the Campbell Hill neighborhood up in Skyway. First time seeing Roselle Duncan was like seventh, eighth grade. You know, I had a lot of energy, so playing sports all the time helped me burn that energy in a positive manner. Well, I know you should dunk them down that right near deep. I didn't want to sit out even for a minute. I used to tell them I got three lungs. Go out there on that basketball court and you roll, roll in life, you go 110%. And that's what Roselle did all the time. People who have ambition or aspiration to do more, I tell them sky's the limit. You know, you got to take a chance and step out. I did. I ended up winning a player of the year, and that, that made me really feel my hard work had paid off. Well, Rochelle Ellis, look at him fly. I went and played in the Philippines, and I ventured out to Argentina. I played a quick, short stint in the NBA with Detroit Pistons in 2000. I would go over to Australia and play as well. Oh! Ellis coming out of nowhere. I need a basket. I'm going to put that hook, and that was guaranteed to go in. Yeah, I do remember that. Brazil was like a pioneer for Rainer Beach on getting the respect and love that we have right now. I retired from playing basketball, came home, took the test for SPD, and I became a Seattle police officer. So I'm living my second dream, and, and I love it. I want to have those positive impacts on people. By them being able to see me in this uniform and knowing that I'm from the community uh, takes a lot of burden off them and me as well. He's always been a leader, and I don't know, maybe he took it out for his little bag. <laughs> I work at school resource at Garfield High School. It's a job that I wanted to have for a long time now. The best feeling I can ever have is when I'm walking with Roselle and then I call a, a, a youth of mine, shake his hand, and then have that connection where they can feel comfortable. So it's a blessing. I've changed a lot. Growing up playing sports, uh, yeah, I was very aggressive. Thought the world was old to me at the time. And there was a bad call that I didn't agree with. And so kind of lost my cool. I got ejected out of the game. And uh, from that moment, that incident on the court opened my eyes, taught me a lot, taught me how to be, how to be in control of my surroundings and myself. So it was a blessing in disguise, I would say. That's what helped prepare me to become a police officer. I really totally understand what de-escalation is. Now, when I walk on the street sometime and I have an encounter with someone that I can see is kind of agitated, and then that's when that de-escalation kicks in. And that's when I come back and I put on my cool and calm hat because I'm here and I'm listening. So let's work through this together. And he's always trying to teach kids from right from wrong. And, and I just want the next generation to understand that you put in the work, it can happen. Positive things can happen, but you got to put in the work. Oh, Lord, what happened? You couldn't get nobody to do your hair? <laughs> like I tell you, don't get no style points. <laughs> You're not definitely not you on You don't get no one. style points. Either you going to put in the basket or you yeah, ain't. That's true. I'm going to be at the school for a while. Later on in my career, I want to try to think of what can I do different? There's so many different things to do in the Seattle Police Department. One day I'm thinking about, maybe I want to be a sergeant, and the next day maybe I want to be a lieutenant. I'm going to try something else because there's too many doors out there for me just to go through one and stay there. Look at that. Look at that quarterback. <laughs> I tell people who want to be a police officer here in Seattle, go for it. It's a great place to live, to work. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, I think you can make a positive impact on the growth here in Seattle.